Hey, Ibrahim Chita. Ibrahim. Good morning to you, Veronica. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm good. I'm good. It's good it's to good have to you back on set. All right, today we have an array of issues we'll be looking at. Uh, of course, we'll be looking at the off-cycle elections That's in right. Bielsa in Kogi, as well as IMO, and also uh, the matter of uh, the NLC strike. Uh, in Imo, uh, we hear that uh, there has been some reaction to that. We'll be looking into that aspect as well. And then we'll also be looking at uh, uh, former CDN Governor Godwin Emefiele uh, being released on bail. That's where we'll begin this morning. Now, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria has been granted bail by an FCT High Court sitting in Maitama. One of the conditions of the bill is that he should be released to his counsel, Matthew Boka, who is to produce him in court for arraignment on the 15th of November. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Area has details. After 151 days in the custody of the Federal Government Security Agencies, a high court of the Federal Capital admitted a former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Kojne Mefile, to conditional bail. This is as a result of the fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by the former CBN governor challenging his unlawful detention. The federal government, in opposing the bill application, had told Justice Adeni that the former governor of the CBN will be arraigned on 15 November 2023. The ADF, through his counsel, noted that it will be difficult to bring Mr. Mefile to court if he is released on bail. The EFCC on the past noted that Mr. Mefile is not being heard arbitrarily. When Mr. Mefile is arraigned on the 15th November, he can apply for bail. The Anticraft Agency also noted that Justice Hamza Mwazu, who is the presiding judge in the case of alleged illegal procurement of vehicles filed against Mr. Mefile, had asked that Mr. Mefile be brought to court on 15th November for arraignment. Mr. Mefile, in his response through his counsel, noted that the child being referred to by the AGF was filed in August. This goes to show that the AGF and the federal government has concluded the investigation before filing the charge, which is yet to be served on Mr. Mefile. Mr. Mefile confirmed to the open court himself that he has not been served with any charge. Delivering ruling, Justice Adini noted that he has taken cognizance of the fact that Mr. Mefile is scheduled to appear before Justice Hamza Mwazu. He also noted that he recognizes the remand order made by the Chief Magistrate, Chukwe Mekanweke, despite the order having two conflicting dates. There must be an end to detention without trial. Justice Adini subsequently released Mr. Mefile on bail to his counsel. The court has granted bail. Yeah. And the court has said he, is going to, he should be in court on the 15th. He is going to be in court on the 15th. Our duty is to ensure that he's in court, to advise him. To, that's all. Mr. Mefile will tentatively be arraigned on 15th November on a 20 count charge of illegal procurement of over 98 vehicles and armored buses to the tune of 9.6 billion naira. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. Well, and Justice Olukali Adini also ruled that there must be an end to the detention, to detention without a trial, so to speak, uh, because we recall Abdul Rashid Bawa as well was also detained for over a hundred days without trial, and he was released to his family's fanfare reception right. when he was released. But mm. uh, for Godwin and Mefiele, we, we didn't see that because these are some of the things that people were saying, oh, we didn't see fanfare uh, with regards to his <laughs> release from his families. But it is obvious uh, that there is a huge sigh of relief uh, from him and his counsel who, while in court, had to tell uh, the judge that, you know what, mm. let you know, this person breathes, That's so right. to speak. And uh, it's good that he's been released, but uh, indeed there has to be an end to the tension without right. trial because constitutionally, I think it's just 24 hours. If you arrest mm -hmm. someone, you then you should to charge court. them to court. Right. But that didn't happen. This has gone beyond what is required by law. So perhaps we need to begin to look at that. That's right. That the current administration says that it will run its government uh, based on the rule of law, mm -hmm. which is very, very sacrosanct. But we need to start seeing that play out. You know, since 
uh, uh, former CBN governor, Gordon Emefele, and his deputies were sacked, you know, picked up by the DSS. You know, he lingered there for, tarried there for several, several days, and then the EFCC picked him up when he felt, you know, he had, you know, gotten some respite. Mm. The EFCC picked him up and then, you know, charged him to court. So maybe because the DSS couldn't handle some of the matters mm. that uh, some of the allegations that were leveled against him, but the EFCC felt, okay, this is a, you know, financial problem, this is an economic problem, so we are the one who see it. But in all, the fact that the court has already, you know, taken, uh, asked him to submit his passport mm. uh, because of the fear of whether he might, you know, uh, uh, it might bill. run, you know, so, bill, so, yeah. so all of that. So, and, and there's a lot of things to learn. When you're holding power, when you're in a position of power, it's always good to tread carefully. Even if you do it right, you still see some people, when you, whatever right thing you do, those who are affected by your justice or what, whatever right decisions. thing that you've done, your decisions, they would also want to, you know, get at you. So if you're on the right cause, definitely you'll be, you, you'll be freed. But if you're not on the right, on the right cause, you know, it, it, there's always a day for um, a day for reckoning. But I'm not saying this is reckoning for him because a lot of Nigerians are not we're not really happy. We saw what happened, you know, during the time where we had you know financial crunch. We saw his meddlesome meddlesomeness in politics because it's one of the reasons why the uh, National Assembly is saying that if you if anyone wants to join politics, especially as a CBN governor, you must resign your position to join political affairs. You know, because it's your right, but you can't be sitting on the national treasury, the national money, mm. and still want to run for politics. So we saw all of that because buying a 100 million naira form at that time, we all cried. We all cried out like, ah, this was just too much. Mm. And then you had someone who uh, at the apogee of the the, the Apex Bank uh, now saying that he's also running for president and all of that. So there's a whole lot of things, a whole lot of messy things that happened. But what we'd like to see at the end of the day is justice. Whether justice for Emefile or justice, you know, the path of Nigerians, or justice, you know, um, whoever deserves justice to... to, to Bottom serve. line, justice being seen mm. to be done in this matter, Absolutely. because that's what it is about. And I hope because November the 15th is when he's supposed to return to court. That's and uh, the EFCC was saying, uh, according to some report, that uh, they were like, it might be difficult for them to bring him to court if he is granted bail, mm -hmm. so to speak. That is why... Mm -hmm. Uh, they were still keeping him in detention. Right. And then uh, his counsel, talking about him, Mifile, was saying that they haven't seen the new charge against him. They haven't received that. And that was why uh, the judge went ahead to say, you know what, let there be an end to detention the without trial. So we, we hope to see what happens in the coming days. November the, the 15th, 15th. Yeah. is just next week. That's right. And uh, we hope that uh, the court will see it because we recall that NLC is saying they want to go on strike November the 14th That's right. across the country and all of that. But um, what we want to see is justice being seen to be done at the end of the day, either for him or for the Nigerian people, because so much has gone on. We must begin to see the rule of law take its course with matters like this.